The PGA Tour heads to Mexico, where John Rahm will look to defend his title as a plus-260 favorite. That's the shortest favorite on tour since Tiger Woods of the 2013 Arnold Palmer, but it's no shock to see the reigning Masters champ fetching such short odds this week. With that said, my betting picks are looking at a couple of guys down the board, one who's hot and one who's not. My name is Chris Gregor from Covers.com, here to break it all down. I'm starting things off with Patrick Rogers to finish inside the top 20 at plus 145. You can get that price at FanDuel. Rogers finished 10th here a year ago despite having just two prior top 20 finishes last season. But this time around, he's in a much better spot to build on some recent success. He piled up four top 20 finishes among six straight top 30s back in the fall. And while he missed a handful of cuts early in the year, he's back in nice form after finishing 5th at the Texas Open and T19 at the RBC Heritage. He's already at seven top 20s for the season, and while his season-long numbers aren't anything to write home about, they're better than you might expect considering his status as a back-end tour pro. His best finish is almost exclusively Cam against the lighter fields, and it's not going to get much lighter than this. The second play of the week is Cameron Champ to miss the cut. Bet365 has the best price at plus 120. There was once a time where Champ was touted as one of the hotter young talents in golf, but it appears that time is long gone. He's on a run of six straight missed cuts going back to late January and has made the weekend just twice in 13 tour starts this season. If you go back even further, that number becomes 10 made cuts in 32 starts since the start of last season. And four of those 10 made cuts ended up as finishes of T46 or worse. His driver remains the strength of his game, but he's consistently falling short in every other area. And a quick look at his stroke scan profile will tell you all you need to know. Yes, the field is light, but I don't expect that to magically result in better golf. His price to miss the cut has remained relatively close to even money because he did finish T6 here a year ago. However, that came after a T10 finish at the Masters in the start prior. I don't expect Lightning to strike twice this time around. Betting on guys to miss the cut may not be the best way to live, but I expect it to be a profitable one this week.